All right, so we've done a lot to get here, and really the reason that we did everything that we just did, which is you know getting a domain and getting hosting and connecting them together, and then figuring out what cPanel is, and then you know all the functionalities in cPanel, and uh, installing WordPress, logging into WordPress, figuring out how to use WordPress and make our websites look good. Really, the reason we did all of that is because of SEO, right? And the reason is SEO is an $80 billion a year industry. And without SEO, most of us probably wouldn't be here trying to learn this stuff, right? There would be no reason for us to go out and make websites because we plan for these websites to make us money. And these websites are going to make us money because of SEO. You know, whether it's your own website where you're, you know, trying to get it to rank high in Google and make money from your own website, you know, doing affiliate products or selling your own products, or most of you probably starting with, you know, working with clients where, you know, a particular client pays you to do SEO for their website. So <clears throat> this, and I already went through kind of the easier part for me because that's kind of get to show you, you know, point and click. That's what I like doing. I like showing you point and click and what things work. Uh, with this section, it's going to be a little harder for me because i got to more explain without showing some things. Um, and I'm going to show. I am going, definitely going to show you some stuff, but I also have to do some explaining uh, where I can't show you things. So a little more difficult for me, but I'm going to hopefully uh, get through to you. So what is SEO? I think most of you have a good idea of what SEO is. And if we go to Google and we type anything in, let's just do like Los Angeles mold removal. You know, I've done many over-the-shoulder series, we call them, where you know I, I take a website from beginning where there's nothing there, and I build a website in front of you, and I rank it in Google. I do the SEO for it. And this is one of those websites, you know, Precision Mold Removal. It's number one in what's called the map listing. So this is number one in the maps, and it's also number one organically. Okay, Now, that was a process. That was a process of doing SEO to this particular website and web page. Now... <clears throat> SEO is basically the process of optimizing your website to say the right things in the right places so Google knows what that web page or website's about and then later on you're going to get links to that page or that website to help build the credibility of it. Now, SEO takes a lot of time these days. Okay, SEO uh, it's you're not going to just rank for something within a matter of days or you know even weeks or even a couple months sometimes a term like this a lot of times going to take many months to rank for there are certain terms it takes a year or more to rank for you know so SEO is a process but when it comes down to it it's a process of Google figuring out what your website or web page is about okay that's what SEO is all about it's about getting Google to understand what your site is about and the way we do that is by placing words in the right places. Okay. Now, <clears throat> we've already done that a little bit, in which I've showed you throughout this Complete Beginner Workshop series, but you probably didn't know why I was doing certain things. And I'm going to start explaining some of those things moving forward and kind of going into more detail with them now. Okay. So really, SEO is just the process of getting Google to trust your website so we appear high in the search results when people search for something, right? Like when someone searches for Los Angeles mold removal, I don't want to be on page 10, right? I don't want to be all the way here. Who goes to page 10? Ba barely anyone. Most people never go off the first page. You know, they kind of, they do the search and they kind of look at these top results and they make their pick off this, you know? And lucky for me, I'm number one in the maps, number one organic. So I have a really good chance of someone clicking on my website and going to my page and then, you know, either buying whatever I had to offer or, you know, uh, signing up for a service that I'm trying to do or calling my phone number from a business. Whatever the case is, the better I do with my SEO, the more chance I have to make money either for me or my client or both of us. Okay. So. <clears throat> SEO in gen, like kind of breaking it down is just the process of optimizing your website. So what I mean by optimizing your website is having the right things in the right places so Google knows what your website is about. All right. And then from there it's a process of getting Google to trust your website. 
when you first build a site, it's not going to be anywhere to be found. Okay, it's going to be you know not even in the first ten pages. People aren't going to be able to find it by searching for the terms that you want them to find it through. It's a process of getting that trust built and you know getting getting some links going to it, which we'll cover later on. Making sure your on-page optimization is right, which is basically what I said earlier about having the right words in the right places in your title. <laughs> in your URL, in your meta description here and on your page and we'll cover all that. <clears throat> and then over time, you're gonna move up the search results and the higher you move up, the more people that are gonna start clicking on you know, your listing and visiting your page and doing what you want them to do. All right, but just in layman's term, SEO is the process of uh, optimizing your website so you can move up high in the search results so more people can see your, your property and visit your webpage. Okay, so that's what SEO is. Now, what was the other part of this video that I wanted to cover? How it works, okay. So I, I explained a little bit <clears throat> about how it works, um, but I do things very differently, and that kind of goes into the next video. Um, so how it works, how, do I, how far do I want to cover that in this video? Yeah, so how it works is, most people think that Google is like this all no because I mean they're the biggest company, one of the biggest companies in the world, um, and they think just because they're this multi-billion dollar, you know, pretty much monopoly company, they're pretty much a monopoly for search engines, that they like are, are that like they're so much more advanced than they are. But what they don't understand is it's still a computer, okay? Like SEO, it still comes down to an algorithm. It's not a person figuring out which website goes up top. It's a computer, all right? And that's very, very, very important to grasp because then when I teach you how simple it is to, to really do SEO, you'll believe me and you'll implement it and you'll get really good results. I think the problem is even like a lot of smart people and like really, I told you before this started, like I'm not very technical. I'm not like a technical SEO. Um, there's a lot of people out there that are technically better at SEO than me, like know all the technical stuff and like terminology and do like doing technical stuff, but I will outrank them any day. That's because I keep things simple, right? And the thing that a lot of those people don't understand is what I just explained, where it's not a human that is deciding where which research results are in, you know, up top or down bottom or, you know, nowhere to be found. A human did not pick my website to be number one. A human did not do that. It's an algorithm. It's a computer that did that, okay? And what you got to understand about computers is they can't think. They, they can think, but they can only think to what they're programmed to do, okay? So a, a computer cannot make an opinion necessarily. You know, a computer just reads data and analyzes it and does what it's programmed to do. And this will all make sense as I move through this. Okay, I'm going to go deeper into this, but I want you to just stop and you can even pause this video and just think about that concept. Google cannot think necessarily. They can't form opinions. They can only read data and then determine based off what they're programmed to do where to list these websites. And a lot of people just don't understand that. And it will make more sense why that's so important as we move through this. But I want you to really grasp that. A lot of people, again, just because Google is so big, they think that they are way smarter than they actually are. And they're not. It's still a computer. It's still a computer that's determining which search results go where based off an algorithm. Okay. And when you understand that, you understand that you can easily manipulate this, uh, not even in a bad way, but just by doing simple things to give yourself the best chance of appearing high in the search results. All right. So <clears throat> that's a little bit about how Google works. And I hope you trust me on that because you know I'll show you th throughout my seven years of coaching. You know, I've literally shown hundreds of properties. Um, you know that I've ranked number one in Google. You know sometimes I fill up the whole first page just for fun. You know I've ranked sites. Uh, you know with like the ri most ridiculous names just to prove people that you know, or, or even like the most ugly sites just to prove to people that look, a lot of the rules that are out there about SEO are not true. If you just follow these simple core concepts, you're going to rank. And I'll, you know I and I put it in action. I show people and I rank stuff. All right, and that the point of that is that. 
get it through people's head that it's it's the simple things that matter. The, these there's about five things I'm going to teach you that really matter where, where how you're going to rank, and you can pretty much ignore everything else. So I'm kind of talking too much because it's going into the next video. Um, I don't want to ruin that for you. So I'm going to stop it there, and I'll continue this in the next video with kind of what I do that's different than what a lot of other people do.